Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today, in this lecture, we will discuss about human eye. Okay, so we will see what is inside our eyes. Okay, and we see things only when light from them enter our eyes. Eye is one of the most important sense organ of human body. Okay, it is therefore important to understand the structure and working of human eye. Okay, now I will tell you how it works. Eye has roughly a shape of rectangular. Okay, so let me take this color. So this shape is roughly somewhat rectangular. Okay, students. As you can see here, the shape is rectangular. The outer coat of the eye is white. Okay, so this the outer coating. This is the internal part, and the outer coating of this is like white part here. Okay, as you can see in your eye, the white layer. It is tough so that it can protect the interior of the eye from accidents. So this is the white part is a tough part so that it can. protect the inner part it is its transparent front part is called cornea so student this part which is transparent it is a front part of our human eye and it is called as cornea behind the cornea there is a dark muscle okay which is called as muscular structure called iris so there is some dark muscle behind the cornea which is called as iris student it is not shown here it is somewhat here okay in the iris there is a small opening called pupil okay so the pupil the size of the pupil is controlled by the iris so this is student it is shown here is pupil okay so this is behind there is a small opening called this opening is in iris and this opening is controlled by the iris so let me write here iris control the opening of pupil okay students the iris is that part of eye which give its distinct color so with the help of the iris only you can judge what color you are seeing okay when we say that the person has green eyes we refer actually to the color of the iris so let's say i have a blue eye and some has black eyes and some has green eyes so the color of the eye is depend on the color of the iris okay students the iris control the amount of light entering so have you ever noticed that if you come to a brighter place through, from a darker place your eyes actually tends to close or tends to shrink okay so this is only because of the iris because iris actually control the amount of light which will enter your eyes okay so the main function is of iris so behind the pupil means behind this part okay eye is a lens this is a lens students this part is a lens so this is the lens of human eye okay which is thicker in the center and what kind of lens is thicker at the center it all but you have learned in students class 7 okay the lens focus light on the back of the eye on a layer called retina so student from with the help of the lens the light enters the retina portion this portions okay so the retina contains several nerve cells so these are the different nerve cells contained by retina 
now cells are in are in retina okay students sensations felt by the nerve cells are then transmitted to the brain through the optic nerve okay means sensation if an object is coming near to you then your uh, retina and the nerve cells will uh, see that the object is coming to you and the, then this information is transmitted to your brain that this object is coming closer to us or going far from us okay students so let me write there are two types of two kinds of cells first is cones second is rods so cones are sensitive to sensitive to bright light okay but whereas rods are sensitive to dim light so this is the difference between rods and cones okay so cones sense color so any colored object are sensed by cone okay at the junction of the optic nerve and the retina there are no sensory cells okay means what he is trying to say is at the junction of the optic nerve at this junction and the retina and this junction there are no sensory cells means in the on the junction there are no sensory cells so no vision is possible at that spot and this is called blind spot okay so students these are the main terms related to the eye okay so impression of an image doesn't vanish immediately from the retina and it remains there with us for a 1 by 16th of a second and this 1 by 16th of the second so we cannot differentiate if there is a change occurs less than for 1 by 16th of a second okay so the movies that we see are actually a number of separate pictures in proper sequence and the they are made to close the eye usually at the rate of 24 pictures per second So the movies which we see are made accordingly to our eyes so that we can differentiate between different scenes there in the movie. Okay students, so I hope I have discussed all the things related to human eye and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section students. I will be happy to help you guys in the comment section. Okay, so uh, and enjoy the learning experience with Scholars Learning by downloading the app of Scholars Learning from App Store or Play Store. Okay, and keep enjoying with us. Thank you. Happy learning.